let's talk about Batman the Doom that came to Gotham. Um, this movie is great. So this movie basically is about Batman. So after 20 years of not being in Gotham, going around, exploring the world as Batman does, he finally decides um, after discovering some type of evil thing that it's time to go back home. So him, Alfred, uh, Dick Grayson, someone named uh, Sanjay, and Kai Lee, um, all five of them go back to Gotham to sort of stop the doom that is coming. Oliver Queen is in the film, Harper Dent's in the film, and a few recognizable Batman villains are also in the film. <clears throat> this film is honestly fantastic. I know I, re I was really positive on this film, the last one that they came out with. This one also n knocks it straight out of the park. Um, my only real complaint about the film is that the human villain, the vessel that the Doom comes or the Doom uses to come into our world is a little uninteresting. Um, him and his female sort of um, psychic are unfortunately not the most compelling characters. And, you know, they're not, that's kind of what they're there for. They're kind of in the same, they play the same role that Rasputin plays in, you know, the first Hellboy movie. Um, so yeah, but that's my only real complaint about this film. Um, speaking of Hellboy, Mike, this is based off a Mike Mignola comic, and you can tell that this just feels like a, a successor to the Hellboy animated films. And of course, if you're a longtime fan of the channel, you know I love the Hellboy animated movies. And this very much felt like that. And it was very much a fun, enjoyable experience watching this film. Um... It's PG-13, but I do think that it's probably more suitable for people who are, like, in middle school and older. Um, it's 90 minutes long, and it's it's as long as this one, and this is the only one that's actually 90 minutes. So, these are both kind of, like, leaned into horror. And I wouldn't say that this is scary. It might be scary if you're not used to the, like, Mike Mignola, Guillermo del Toro type of stuff. But it is most certainly, I think, thrilling and interesting um, and there's some really cool sort of biblical elements used in this film to really help work its magic. Um, the guy who plays Batman in this was the same guy who played him in uh, Soul of the Dragon. And I didn't really like him in Soul of the Dragon. I felt like his Batman voice and his Bruce Wayne voice were a little too similar. Here he does a great job at differentiating the voices by just making his Batman voice deeper. And it really works with how sort of dark and atmospheric this film is. Um, this film is absolutely great, and I'm happy to say that, at least for this year, um, these DC Direct Video movies have been hitting it out of the park. I really wasn't thrilled with Battle of the Super Sons, or um, I've, I've reviewed this one, but uh, or the Beware My Power Green Lantern movie. And in May, I swear, I will review this in May, but it most certainly is a enjoyable um, movie that I think, yeah, you should definitely watch at least once. Like, this is really good. It came out just this uh, Tuesday, so I'm not going to spoil it, you know, obviously. But this is really good, and I highly recommend it. Um, and, yeah, uh, the character of Kylie, who is, I think, supposed to be Kate Cade, or K Kate Kane, um, the uh, Batgirl from the 90s, um, she... Uh, they do a good job at making her an interesting sort of Robin-esque character in this film. And, uh, yeah, also, this is probably the dirtiest they've ever did, uh, Harvey Dent. But, yeah, like I said, an enjoyable film. I highly recommend you go and check it out. Um, it's, uh, it's available on Amazon, Best Buy. I bought this off of Amazon. But, yeah, I highly recommend you check out this film. Remember, the guy made special. So let's you very much. I uh, hope you have been very nice and I say, and a very nice day, and just... Have a nice day. I've I've uh, been at work all day. It's it's crazy, but God bless.